Welcome to the Nicholas Lebnex 12 technology. Today we're looking at Corsair's new closed loop water cooler, the Corsair Hydro Series H105. This, at the time of this video, is Corsair's flagship water cooler. And I should also let you know that this review is based on my own personal and subjective opinion. In the box is the water cooler itself, two 120mm fans, the mounting brackets, screws and replacement rings, the Y cable for the fans and the quick start guide. But now let's move on to the specifications. The Corsair Hydro Sears H105 uses copper as the cold plate material. The radiator dimensions are the following 272.5 by 120 by 38 millimeters. Two 120 millimeter fans are included, and the supported sockets are the following Intel LJ 1150 1155 1156. LJ1366 and LJ2011, AMD AM3 Plus slash AM3, FM2 Plus slash FM2 slash FM1, and AM2 Plus slash AM2. The radiator. This is a 240mm radiator, so you mount two 120mm fans onto it. And this is a 38mm thick radiator. Included are two of Corsair's SP120L fans. Corsair uses an Acetec OEM branded pump here in this H105. Normally I'm not such a big fan of these because of the looks, but Corsair made it look a lot better. I like how it looks now. Thermal paste is reapplied already. On the pump itself we can choose from three different color accent rings. On default the grey one is installed, but you also have a red and blue one. The Corsair logo will light up white. On this H105 we have rubber tubing with a diameter of 11 millimeters. This is how the cooler looks like with the fans mounted onto the radiator. Simply beautiful. But now let's take a look at the temperature results. So there you have it, the Corsair Hydro Sears H105 is a really really good performing closed loop water cooler. 
It does a good job keeping my Intel i7-4770K cool even when overclocked. Corsair definitely managed to improve the cooling performance even further compared to their previous H100i for example. But because of the 38mm thick radiator, the water cooler doesn't fit in as many cases anymore. High-end or modern mid-range cases should still be able to hold this water cooler without any problems though. As for fan noise, I can't really complain, but of course you don't want to run these fans at full blast. The mounting mechanism is simple and effective. Overall, the Corsair H105 really offers great performance for the price and also looks good. Pros are great price performance ratio, very good cooling performance, simple and effective mounting mechanism, and last but not least, it's good looking in terms of the aesthetics. As for the cons, I have nothing to say here. Therefore, I can definitely recommend this Corsair Hydro Series H105 water cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x5tech.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.